The opening ceremony of this year's National Arts Festival got off to a rather shaky start with a few technical difficulties and a delay. However, enthusiasm and excitement quickly prevailed as several Eastern Cape dignitaries pointed out the economical benefits of the National Arts Festival on the Makana district and the greater Eastern Cape region. To us, the people of Makana, the festival is not only about the fanfare, but it is significant economic injector. We trained some of the SMMEs in the last two years, and they, and they have graduated, of course, from our project and are taking part in this festival in businesses. We are involved with two initiatives which are helping us turn this Eastern Cape brand into a globally iconic one. It's a special 11 days period on our corporate calendar that transforms Grams down into a hive of activities where the finest of artists and performers share spaces with budding ones. Our lifetime mission as agents of liberation and social justice is to ensure that we build a South African nation that is dynamic, non-racial, non-sexist, democratic and prosperous. Once the speeches had been concluded, the audience was treated to a preview of the upcoming festivities. If tonight's performance and atmosphere is anything to go by, the next 11 days are going to be truly amazing. I'm Christopher Tucker for QTV, Grahamstown.